hello everyone welcome to part 7 of laravel interview questions and in this video we are going to learn about routing and packages uh, so let's start let's see the first question what is routing in laravel okay so this is the basic uh, question that we can expect in interview so let's see its answer routing is the very first step of laravel for defining the urls for the website all laravel routes are defined in route files which are stored in the routes directory these files are loaded by the mvc framework there are two main routing files in laravel web.php for handling website routes api.php for handling api routes both for websites and mobile apps okay so uh, as we all know as we are doing working uh, for routing all the times in laravel okay so the very basic step very first step that we are going to take uh, for the laravel website that is to define the route okay and in laravel e-commerce series as well uh, we we begin with the admin routes okay you have seen uh, that series in in that we have started with the admin routes so uh, this is the first step that we need to take we need to create the route in web.php file okay so uh, so we can if the interviewer asks you that what is routing you can explain him that this is the very first step in laravel uh, you need to uh, define every route every url okay uh, for uh, for uh, for defining the url you need to add the route in uh, in web.php file and uh, there will be the route for every page okay so all the laravel pages have some kind of route that you have defined in your uh, route file that is the web.php file okay so in the same way uh, like for web.php you are going to handle the website route in the same way uh, we are going to handle the uh, api routes as well and for the api routes uh, we are going to use the api.php okay and this one also we have seen in laravel api tutorial that how we are handling the api routes all the api routes we have created inside api.php okay so all these routes are managed are loaded by the mvc framework okay it is possible with the help of mvc framework uh, so, so 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 all this you can explain to the interviewer if the question asked by the interviewer okay so i hope this is clear and a separate video for routing is already available in video details see you can check always check the video description at the bottom of the video where uh, i have given the much of the references and details that you can check out okay so let's see the another question what is reverse routing in laravel okay so the chances of reverse routing is more than the basic routing okay so the interviewer can ask you what is reverse routing in laravel and interviewer do ask uh, these kind of uh, question they don't ask you the straightforward question they all they always avoid straightforward question and ask something uh, that uh, you have not expected okay so uh, what is reverse routing so let's see its answer Reverse routing in Laravel is the process of generating the URL based on name or symbol. Okay, so it defines a relationship between the links and Laravel routes. Name routes helps in generating Laravel reverse routes by giving the name to the routes. Okay, see uh, in the basic routing that we have seen in the earlier question, basic routing uh, we are not defining with the name or symbol okay but here in reverse routing reverse routing we are generating with the help of name okay we are giving the name to every every url every route we are giving the name to it okay and that name can be used anywhere in the website uh, for calling uh, those routes and uh, see name routes the name routes we have already used earlier we have already uh seen it earlier and name routes helps us to generate these kind of reverse routes see name routes itself called the reverse routes and uh for giving the name to the routes and uh, let's see suppose we want to change the user account url from user slash account to user slash profile everywhere in the website if we are using named routes for user slash account 
route uh, then we need to make change only at one place in route in web.php file otherwise we need to go through and manually update everywhere okay so see uh, now uh, if we will use the reverse routing uh, like if we will use the named route then what is the benefit here uh, see if you have the named route if you have uh, if you have the if you have given the name to your route okay then in case if you change your route name like uh, if you change your route name from user slash account to user slash profile then uh, and you have used this route like user slash account in many pages okay uh, maybe in four or five pages you have manually uh, added this uh, route user slash account then if you have planned to change the name then you need to do it everywhere you need to search and do it everywhere but if you have given the name to the route then you can just need to change in the route file in the web.php file only at one place and see we are we are calling the routes with the help of name okay so we uh, so uh, you no need to make change in any other file just you require to make change in web.php file so this is the benefit of the reverse routing so this we call the reverse routing okay so uh, so uh, i hope that this is clear to you so uh, let's see the next question what are packages in laravel okay so everyone install packages in laravel okay and uh, this question can be expected in laravel interview they can ask you what are packages in laravel so uh, let's see its answer first Packages are standalone source code which developers can import into their projects using a package management tool like Composer. Instead of manually copying and pasting the package files into your project, developers only need to import the package and call it anywhere in their project. So see, see packages without packages it is not possible to work on Laravel website nowadays. Uh, like in uh, Laravel e-commerce series we need to install a lot of packages okay so uh, like uh, uh, it's shown here like packages are the standalone source code so uh, so see uh, these packages uh, we can install with the help of composer like we always do install with the help of, uh, of composer in laravel e-commerce series as well we need to install the package uh, uh, from time to time and we install with the help of composer and once we have installed the package they easily configured in our website otherwise see it it will be really tough like uh, like copy and pasting the packet file into our project okay so how tough it is okay for example let's take one example uh, like uh, take the example of the intervention package that we have installed in laravel e-commerce series and uh, and what intervention package do it uh, do the image resize okay product image resize so we have installed this package in our laravel e-commerce website and it only takes few minutes see uh, we installed with the composer with the help of composer and it it is showing us that it's keep on installing and after that it is done we are just calling the package and and our image is resizing uh, whatever uh, uh, resize uh, whatever size we want uh, it is resizing to that size so otherwise what we need to do we need to uh, if we are going to make this code it will take so many days to create this code in laravel so it makes our task easier uh, it's just like uh, uh, you are uh, you are hiring someone to do this specific role for you okay so so the packages makes our task really easy uh, it uh, 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 it uh, have its own purpose okay uh, so we can install it in our laravel website to make our life easy in coding okay so so uh, so let's see the another question list some examples of packages in laravel okay so the interviewer can ask you to uh, give some example of packages that you have installed or that you know okay so you can give like we have done in laravel e-commerce series lot of packages we have installed in laravel e-commerce series for lot of purposes so lot of objectives of installing the packages so let's see some of the most common packages are intervention like i have explained you earlier mat website dom pdf passport 
okay so these are the common packages that we require to install in laravel e-commerce website you can uh, if the interviewer will ask you like uh, list some example of packages then uh, you can uh, see if there are other packages as well it's your wish that you want to give this these or someone else okay but you need you may require to explain this so whatever uh, examples you are going to give the examiner you are going to give the interviewer uh, then you must know about that because the interviewer can further ask you that what this package uh, do what this uh, what is the role of this package okay so so you must be aware of that thing so uh, so uh, see these are the packages that we have installed in laravel e-commerce series so i have given this example so the packages that you have installed in your uh, website you can give those packages to the interviewer okay so let's see intervention mad, mad website dom pdf and passport let's see it in briefly intervention like i have told you for image recite any kind of image you can uh, able to recite after installing the intervention package mad website package for exporting data to excel like you want to export the users to excel you want to export the orders to excel that you can easily do with the mart website dom pdf package you can generate the pdfs okay like uh, in laravel e-commerce series we have generated the pdf of the order invoice okay and passport passport package is the official package of the laravel and it's uh, already uh, installed oh, okay um, uh, and if you can uh, install it very easily and uh, it is for the api authentication okay that we have seen in laravel api tutorial as well uh, you can authenticate your api uh, you uh, for getting the assess token that you can use for further api calls okay so uh, it's a separate video is already there you can check that video to uh, to check out that how to install these packages what is the purpose of these packages okay you can check in video uh, so you can explain these packages to the interviewer okay i hope that this is clear so let's see the next question how to clear cache in laravel okay so this is the basic question that you must know and how to clear cache in laravel and most of the time you may require to clear cache in laravel uh, online as well as offline online you can do if you have the terminal access offline you can easily do with your command prompt or the git okay so let's see we can run below artisan commands to clear cache in laravel php artisan cache clear php artisan config clear php artisan view clear okay so these three commands are there to clear cache in laravel okay so you can simply uh, tell uh, interviewer that uh, these three commands uh, clear the cache in laravel if required okay you can run this command offline as well as online okay so uh, that's all for now and i hope that uh, these questions are clear to you and more questions more interview questions will come soon so stay in tune for that we are going to do the advanced questions as well and uh, if you will complete this interview question series you will uh, surely get benefit and you will get the chance to uh, crack the interview clear the interview so do do follow all the videos okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye